In today's video, I'm going to talk about the latest feature in Divi called responsive editing. With responsive editing, you are now able to serve a different type of content based on the device that the visitor is using to view your website. Now, this is really cool because there are countless opportunities and these are now active on each and every setting. Now, let me show you how that works. But before I do that, if you buy DV using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my DV Blueprint 3 course and also the Photoshop for Web Designers course. This will be a very good start to teach you how to design professional looking websites using Divi. All right, then with that out of the way, let's dive in and let me show you how this feature works. So first of all, you wanna make sure that you're running the latest Divi. So you wanna come over here to updates, Click here, and uh, once it refreshes, it'll let you know if your themes are up to date. So it looks like everything is okay with us. So what I'm gonna do now is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages and click on add new. Now here, I'm just gonna name this page responsive, and then I'm gonna click on use Divi Builder. So for this example, I'm just gonna build from scratch, but you can use this feature on your existing website. All you have to do is to go in and assign the different type of content on each device. So I'm gonna build this from scratch. All right, so let's start by adding some columns. So my first example here is going to have two columns. So here, what we're gonna do is to start by adding a video module. So I'm gonna come over here and search for it, and then I'm gonna select it. So what you may want to do here in this example is, let's say when people visit you on a desktop, you may serve longer videos. So because obviously they're relaxed, they're on a chair, they can watch a way longer video. But you want to switch this up when they visit on, I mean, from a tablet or a smartphone, maybe they're in a rush, and this could be the thinking behind it. So what you could do is you could serve a totally different video on smaller devices. And let me show you how you do that. So let's assume this is our main video, the, uh, the long one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and just copy this URL of one of my own videos. So what I'm gonna do now is to click here on this button and it also says responsive. So this is where you can assign what content you want for whatever device it is. So if I click here on tablet and click this plus button, I can now insert my URL here that I've just copied. Okay, so that's my video. I'm gonna click on insert in post. So as you can see here, the tablet tab has this video now. We can also go ahead now and change the, the phone video, but of course, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna use the same video here for my phone. Click insert in post. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Now, if you wanna preview this, you want to use these small buttons here on the bottom. So this is my desktop normal view, my desktop view. And this is what uh, visitors see when they uh, visit my website from a desktop. Now let's switch over here to a tablet and notice what happens is now the video has changed. It's now showing a different video. And of course, it's gonna be the same as well for my mobile views. All right, so let's dive in and let's work on a different example. So over here, I'm gonna use a blurb. So I'm just gonna search for it and select it. So I prefer using this dummy text here. So I'm just gonna copy this paragraph here. And I'm also going to add a heading, a custom heading. So I'm just gonna paste my text in here just to replace my normal text. And over here, we're also going to add a title. And again, I'm just gonna paste it in here. Right, so now let's go in and customize this and make it look really nice. So what we're gonna do now is, let's start by working on our image and icon. So here, I'm gonna choose a, an image that works with this. So let's say when visitors come to my website, uh, they should see, let's say this image right here, click upload an image. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change these images based on where our viewers are viewing our website from. So I'm gonna come over here again to this little tab, and then I'm gonna click on the tablet. Now notice that now we have the opportunity to add a different type of image. So if I click here on this plus button, I can actually go through my library here, and let's say I wanna go with this one here. Upload an image, and now we have a different image here for our tablet. So I'm just gonna leave the phone as it is for now, just to save us time. And you can see here, as soon as I flip back over here, it has changed. Right, so let's customize our text now. So I'm gonna click here on design text. So we're gonna leave it at dark, but we're gonna center it. And then we're also going to work on our titles. So here for my title, I'm just gonna choose pop-ins and I'm also gonna make it bold. And for my normal text, I'm gonna change that as well. I'm just doing this just to make it look much better. Right, so I'm gonna choose pop-ins. So pretty much I'm happy with how things are looking there. Now notice this, I mean, 
site-wide, you can do a lot of crazy things. You can actually change the font here based on the visitor that's visiting your website. So let me just show you quickly how you would do that. So I'm gonna use that on the title, okay? So here on the title, we have the pop-ins. So I can actually change this on tablet and notice when I go on tablet, it gives me my view. So I can actually change this font to whatever font I want. But of course, we're not gonna do that because when it comes to fonts, you wanna keep them consistent. But the things that we're going to change here are the actual content itself. And this feature, we didn't have it before. So let me show you how that works. So if I come back over here on uh, content, go to text, I can now hover over this title and click on this little icon to go into my views. So what I could do now is I can actually serve a totally different title here. So let's say I need a shorter title, so I can actually go in and do that. And this is now what appears on my tablet. Now, if I come over here to my phone, I could decide, you know what? I could want probably a totally different title or just you know shorten it even further. So I can go in, I can paste it in here. So let's say this is my title now for my phone. And you know what? The cool thing about this is you can actually come in here and change the text as well. So let's say you want to have a totally different um, paragraph text here or description. You can actually come in here. Now this is the mobile view, as you can see. So you wanna make sure you're on the right tab. So you come over here to the body, click on this little icon. And right now we're on the phone, as you can see. And this is now where you can paste your description. And this description is obviously different from my desktop. So if I come over here, notice that we have Lorem Ipsum here as the beginning. And then if I come over here to the phone, it has this Moby, sin, uh, Moby in Sem. So for the tablets, I want to also add different text. So I'm going to come back over here, choose a totally different paragraph. Okay, so here's our paragraph text. I'm pretty much happy with that. And then I can just save this. Okay, so this is how things look like on my desktop. So Notice what happens now when I switch views. So if I go over here to my tablet view, my title has changed, my image has also changed. If I go over here to my phone view, you can see here my description text has changed, my uh, title text has changed, but my image still remains the same. But if I come back over here to my desktop view, the image totally changes. So as you can see, this gives us a lot of opportunities to design custom websites based on what device our visitors are looking at them from. So you can use this throughout all the Divi modules and it's really, really cool. Now, it doesn't only work on modules. You can actually use this on sections. You can use it on uh, rows and so on. Now, let's try this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a specific color to my um, section settings here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this one here and just make this design look slightly better. Okay, so I'm gonna click here on this three and choose three columns. And then I'm just gonna duplicate this twice and then just drag this over here and drag this bottom one over here. Now, of course I could go in and change these images if I wanted to, but you know what? For the sake of this demo, I just wanna show you the possibilities of what you can do as you're designing your website. So let's say we want to add a title here. So I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button, single row, and I'm gonna add a text module in here. And I'm just gonna copy, let's say, let's say this is going to be my title. Right, so I'm just gonna come over here and paste it. And then I'm gonna highlight it, click here on the paragraph and set this to heading two. And then I'm just gonna do a bit of customization to it. So I'm gonna come over here to heading text. And remember, it's set to heading two. Right, so let's change our font here to pop-ins. Uh, the size, okay, let's make it all caps. And we're gonna change this from regular to bold. And then we're also going to add some letter spacing here, like that, and then finally, we're gonna center it. Okay, so pretty much it's looking okay. Now, the final thing we're gonna do here is we could decide, you know what? This may seem too long on a mobile device. So again, as we did before, you can actually come over here to content, click on text, and then you can assign different um, uh, headings to this uh, heading here. So I'm gonna come over here, click on this little icon, and as you can see, if I go to my tablet, I can actually paste a shorter description here, like that. And let's say on a phone, we're just going to add just one word, 
Okay. So that means now when people visit our websites, they will be able to see different titles which are shortened to make things easier for them. All right, so I'm just gonna switch back over here to desktop, save this, and then I'm just gonna drag this to the top like that. Great, so now we have a title and we have this text, I mean, this content here. So let's say you want to add also backgrounds, uh, different background colors. So you can come over here, section settings, background, and notice what we can do here. If we click this icon, we can actually choose a color. So let's say you want to go with, um, let's say this color right here for your for visitors that come from the desktop. But on the tablet, let's say you want to use this color here. And then for the phone, you want things to be white or a slight version, okay? Now let's uh, save this and let's take a look at how things look on our website. So as you can see, this is the color that we chose for the desktop. Now we're gonna switch over and go to our tablet and notice that now we have this slightly darker color. And then when we go on the phone, we have now this light color. And also our titles now have changed based on the view, okay? So I think this is actually really, really cool. And as I mentioned, you can also do this on rows as well. So there are so many modules that you can go in and uh, make all these changes to. So it's a matter of just experimenting and deciding what text or what type of uh, content works best for whatever view that you want to use. Now, there's also one thing that I also want to mention, and this is a feature that you may perhaps have not uh, tried to use, but we can actually uh, show content based on different views. So let me just duplicate this a few times. Right, so let's say uh, this one right here, in fact, we're gonna make it slightly different by going into design. We're gonna add some spacing and let's add, uh, let's say 30 pixels here, top, bottom and left and right. So the reason why I'm doing this is just to distinguish you know, our, our content here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over here to background and then we're just gonna give this a dark, Okay, let's just give this background, okay? Right, so what we could actually do is to say, right, we want to show this row on desktops, but we don't want to show it on mobile devices and tablets. So what you could do here is you can go into your row settings, advanced, visibility, and then you can disable this on the phone. In fact, we want to disable this on the tablet, I mean on a desktop, so we can choose uh, desktop. Now, when our page is now shown, what you'll notice is this will not show on the desktop, but it will show on the tablet and phone. So let's go ahead and save that. Now, when we come over here, we could do the same. So let's say we only want to show this on tablets and smartphones. Again, if we come over here to settings, advanced, visibility, we can say, right, um, let's disable this on phone and tablet. So now this will only show on desktop. So this is where you can decide how, you know, which, which devices you want to show uh, based on what they're viewing it from. I'm gonna save that. And now, and in fact, before I go any further, if you look at, here, at what's happening here, this is a bit uh, um, faded. And that just shows you that uh, this is what's not showing on the desktop. But if we come over here to the tablet, you'll now notice that this is now what shows. But when you scroll down, this is now faded, meaning that this is the one that won't be shown when they come to your tablet view, I mean, tablet phone. And then over here on the phone as well, this is what will be shown. So these are the different ways you can um, show and hide your um, content based on what device your visitors are viewing this from. So if you combine this with uh, responsive editing, this is really, really powerful. It's more like having two or three types of websites uh, all in one. And also these websites are shown based on where these viewers are viewing this from. All right, guys, this is all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comments box below. And don't forget, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my Divi Blueprint 3 course, which shows you and teaches you how to design professional-looking websites using Divi. All right, guys, take care.